that um, I, the reason I started talking about this was to get you to start talking. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, telling you that uh, I had uh, the opposite uh, experience because I was uh, educated by two atheists. And, uh, Atheists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you got it. I'm, I'm just translating. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and so I remember with a great clarity mm. this uh, episode when I was, I think, uh, seven or eight years old. And I was scared about that. Mm. And uh, maybe I had a nightmare or something like that. And I went to my mom and I asked, her, but what happened when I die? And she answered, uh, nothing. We just uh, we do your funeral. <laughs> now, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember that I, I thought, this is impossible. It's simply impossible. And, uh, and nothing. And I, grow up and I try to I try the Catholic religion mm. in some uh, some time later. Yeah, I went to, to church mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. by myself but mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. was not uh, right. not really there were no answers. I remember on one funeral of my grand grandmother great mm. great great grandmother Everybody were crying, even my own, and they were very Catholic, no? And so I asked them too, but why <laughs> you cry? What happened after? Oh, nobody knows, uh, it's mm -hmm. a mystery, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, no answer. And okay, and then I, I found uh, after the, the movement, and I started to to believe in what uh, Silo was saying, you know? or I I believed that I believed in <laughs> what Silo was saying, you know? because it was uh, mm. it was in, it was too terrific that it, it will be really like that that everything ends mm -hmm. and uh, in death, nothing, right. no. Mm -hmm. And so, until uh, these past months, I, I was in this illusion that I was uh, really believe in uh, transcendence. And until uh, I started to, after a suggestion from a friend <laughs> who told me to, to find uh, uh, the root of my belief about that and so I spent some months uh, in this thing with the message and what I found out what I found out is that I don't believe in transcendence <laughs> I I don't believe uh, in uh, anything that I followed in the last years. Mm. No. no, not anything. Anything but two things that are the importance of um, inner unity and the principles of valid action. Mm -hmm. These mm. two things uh, is what I saved <laughs> from all my <laughs> process. <laughs> What was the first one? Inner, internal unity. Oh, okay. Internal unity internal and the unity. principles. Yeah. Uh-huh. Valid action. Right. Okay, the importance yeah. of the internal unity. Yeah. No? Uh -huh. Like the right. only thing that I can feel mm -hmm. sometime that I, when yeah. I have more uh, right. internal unity and uh -huh. when I have less, uh, uh -huh. and it changes. Uh -huh. And so these are the two bricks uh, that I have now, <laughs> after 18 years, <laughs> um, 
and I started this, uh, this research of my belief, my mm -hmm. real belief, mm -hmm. because uh, I couldn't uh, go on with my assessi. Mm -hmm. Because I was, uh, I had, I, I was too afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, my purpose uh, was uh, about uh, the certainty of the trust in them. Mm -hmm. To have this experience in life mm -hmm. <laughs> that that it does not exist without any doubts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, clearly, um, it, it will ha something happened related with this purpose, and, and I scared. So it was a confused, confused situation because I wanted to know, but <laughs> when something arrived, uh, I, I didn't want uh, to go. You didn't on. want to no, know it. No, <laughs> it was. I, I understand that. It, yes. it was like I, I was looking for uh, an answer starting from fear, because uh, mm. uh, I don't want to believe that there is nothing because mm -hmm. it's too terrific. Mm -hmm. And so I have to see mm -hmm. if there is something else, but I don't know what I will discover. No? And, and so I was uh, just trying to compensate a fear. Right, right. This is something that uh, it was clarified in these months. <laughs> mm. It, it, it is not, uh, it does not work. <laughs> I, I understood that it does not work if I start from fear. Mm -hmm. The purpose has to start from something else, mm -hmm. something good, no? not from a compensation. Mm. And, and during these months, I had uh, this uh, big help in this research mm, from a friend not for by his willing, <laughs> but <laughs> it happens like that, <laughs> that a dear friend uh, died uh. suddenly. Mm. Uh, he was young and healthy and, uh, mm. and just in one night he died. Oh, yes, we heard about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and in the morning that when I discovered it, uh, I went to the hospital to see his body and to stay with the other. Mm -hmm. And um, when I when I arrived and I saw his body there, the first thing I thought it was that uh, that body was not related to him. Mm. Mm. It seems something, someone else, uh, not mm. him. No? Mm. And I had this strong feeling, like a certainty, that he was uh, away and he was fine. Mm. No. Okay. And this register lasted like uh, three minutes, <laughs> and then I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I forgot it completely. Three minutes. Uh, no. Completely forgot it. <laughs> and <laughs> I fall in a black hole oh. of a uh, sense of guilty and regrets mm. and um, what if and mm. oh he lived uh, so few and maybe I could treat uh, him better yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I judged him a lot mm -hmm. instead he was so sensitive yeah. indeed he is dead because yeah. of his sensitive <laughs> because his heart uh, uh -huh. yeah. his heart right. uh, like went in tilt you know mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't understand nothing of him, not all these things. Sure. And I was in a very bad state, you know, for some days. And I couldn't get out from this thing. Mm. From uh, the, There were these thoughts that were like in a circle, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I couldn't get out, you know, mm. the same. <clears throat> Until I call a friend, another friend of mine, <laughs> Hey, please come here. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> she was a girl uh, 
who has a lot of experience of that. Oh. <laughs> so she came and we talk. Mm. And uh, during this talk, uh, I, I told her about uh, what I was thinking. <clears throat> and uh, in one moment, uh, she told me about uh, uh, a sentence of Silo, of the inner look, uh, when he said uh, that, uh, I don't know the, I don't remember exactly words, but from what uh, your mind uh, is uh, betrayed, something like, your house is already burned. Oh, and yes, that no. story, right. Mm -hmm. So the, um, in, in one moment I, I saw that um, <coughs> what I was suffering for, it has nothing to do with uh, this friend of mine who was there, no? nothing. Right. It was just me and right. my consciousness, right. uh, like a mm -hmm. conflict between me and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, it, it, it's really not, it was really not related to him, you know? mm -hmm. could be anyone else or mm -hmm. no one, it mm -hmm. was the same, mm -hmm. it just uh, that uh, this thing uh, mm, allowed to, yeah. something to come out. It no? triggered it. Contradictions, yeah. simply yeah. contradictions. <laughs> and like that, in one moment, all my suffering, my desperation goes away. Oh, gosh. Completely. And I could remember that uh, wonderful register that, that I had in the first register. moment that he was mm -hmm. fine and he was gone, but he was gone. Not that he did not exist anymore. Right, right. He was gone, but he right. was, no? <laughs> oh. uh, it, it was really weird because, uh, you know, this yeah. <laughs> feeling uh, very right. different. In right. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> as fast okay. as it left, it came back. <laughs> yeah. And from that moment on, uh, we had a lot of uh, ceremony of assistance and death mm -hmm. and well-being mm -hmm. and everything. Mm. And all the time I could um, uh, feel the same register of uh, openness and future. <coughs> and from that moment, I never think about him with the sadness. Mm. Never more. Mm -hmm. Always so, uh, like with, uh, with joy, mm -hmm. because um, During the well-being, there is this part when uh, yes. you can uh, feel the people who are not in this space right. uh, in this time. Right. And in the ceremony, it says that uh, you can feel their presence in the register of love, uh, peace, uh, and uh, joy. One joy, yes. And uh, in during one of this ceremony, I realized that uh, it's not the, the memory of them, but when I can feel the register of peace, or when I can feel the register of love, that register is the connection. No? Mm. It's not the memory. No, it's no. the register. It's the register. Exact experience. So when I am uh, in peace, uh, I am connected with the people who are mm -hmm. not in this uh, space mm -hmm. and in this time. Mm -hmm. And not only, I am connected with <laughs> everything. <no? laughs> yeah. But that, that register is the key. Uh -huh. yeah. and, um, and I felt this register a lot of time. my life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so it's very different to uh, seek something um, starting from the compensation of a fear or uh, from uh, 
a register mm -hmm. that you have mm -hmm. and you can have mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. all when uh, not when you want but <laughs> 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 if you do something okay it can come no yeah <coughs> so it has changed mm. Because when I am um, connected with this register, there is uh, no more the problem of uh, death. Right. No. Right. In, in that moment, yes. Uh, yes. there it's are no questions yeah. and no answers, no, but no questions mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is not the problem what, what after, there is no after, no, there is no, yeah. no, it's no just before, it's just something else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I had a similar register. My daughter was diagnosed with breast cancer three years ago. And previous to that, again, what's my purpose? Who am I? What am I doing? I, I couldn't figure out what to do for my stasis. So then I said, I'll work with gratitude. So every moment I would be truly grateful for things. And so, so you start to see the world differently. Instead of like, oh, what's this going on? Oh, I'm really thankful that this happened. You know, finding that to be grateful for. And so when my daughter was diagnosed, and you know, definite diagnosis, okay, we'll go, we started with the plant. There was a moment where I felt this transformation, this register, a peace and warm joy and knowing that everything would be fine. Whatever everything is, it, I wasn't thinking of any possibilities, but just that experience, just that register. And so then you say, this is true. This, mm. is, this is what the reality is. This mm. is the reality I'm choosing. And that's so strong. And to reinforce that, to keep that and expand that is so important. But you really feel it. You, yeah. It's like somebody went, Rah! I mean, nobody said anything. I mean, all of a sudden I was just there, like, okay. And then, shoo, just this turn and like, my heart turned over and was open. <laughs> amazing, just amazing. And and Celo always talks about your experience, yeah. your register. So it's true, right? It's true. Yes, <laughs> it's because true. there's no question, there's no answer. There's, yeah. It's the experience, and you can't explain that to somebody. No. You have to. No, even. Uh, even to yourself, you can. No, <laughs> I mean that's why I, I keep on doing this. I don't have the word. I this gesture of whew, just total peace in this moment of you know all kinds of possibilities. But I wasn't going there. I wasn't. It was just everything will be fine, <laughs> whatever it is. So that's what I believe in. That you can believe. That you can believe. Because that's your register. It's yeah. not yours. It's not yours. It's not yours. No. But it um, it must be it must be a universal. Yeah. It is a universal experience. But we all have to. That's our. That's where we need to be, go towards, you know, without grabbing it, because you know you sit and you, okay, I, I want I want this. I want to believe. <laughs> I want, I want to know what this is. And it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So you do this preparation, these very simple things, daily practice, and then when you need it, <laughs> there it is. It's absolutely wonderful. What a gift. What an experience. Good thing that we <clears throat> we're losing all the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the video is. <coughs> struggling. <laughs>
Café. Hum? Café. Café. Coffee. Okay. okay. Great. I'm nervous about leaving. 9.30. Okay. Still light. It's 9.30. Uh, yes. <laughs> right. Now, yes. It's getting light. June 21st. There it is. Uh, <laughs> the light. Now we've got light. So, it was, uh, this is what you want to listen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, this is what I like so much about our conversation. It's so, you know, I have this conversation with my friend in New York. It's like we do all this work, you know, we do our discipline, our practice, and it's like, okay, how come I haven't transcended? You know, like, <laughs> I'm doing all this work. Yeah. Yeah. And then in that moment, there it is. There's, there's the result of our work. Very quiet, very profound, yeah. and it's that moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought that um, because okay, I spent more than half of my life uh, doing uh, yes, yeah, right, exactly. work and exactly. everything, the retreats and all the techniques that we have and the discipline so hard and everything, yeah. you know. <laughs> and okay, when uh, I discover okay, but. Where is it? And what? And, uh, and why I'm not happy and I'm not coherent every day and I'm not treated the other like I want to be treated. Why? And I'm still no. suffering. And I'm still suffering for suffering. All the same thing. For, for <laughs> nothing. I was suffering uh, for months for money. You know? And this is so uh, <laughs> undoctrinary. <laughs> but I was suffering exactly. for money. Right. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, uh, no, I, I understood that uh, it was because uh, I put a lot of um, um, importance in the things that I was doing, like that a technique can solve my problems. Right. right. And, okay, they, there are wonderful techniques better than others, yes. or not, I don't know, I didn't yes. uh, experiment everything, but... They are good techniques, but they are technique. It's uh, not the thing. And uh, he, Silo, poor guy, <laughs> he's told us million times. <laughs> there is only one thing that you can do. You meditate, <laughs> search, and nothing else. There is no other way, you know? Like you have to go inside more and more and more and more, and then you can find everything. And guided experience and <laughs> transferences yes, and yes. catharsis and, oh, and I, I work always so suffer. hard yes but <laughs> why it's, uh, yeah. but I, I feel like all that has gotten me to where I am yeah no no you know, they, this, they were yeah. not useless exactly no no exactly. And for nothing yes. at all exactly it was just and it I I had a lot of very wonderful experiences mm -hmm. doing that you know? mm -hmm. Yes, but um, it, it was not because I was doing that. It was because I was looking inside. No. Yeah. Yes. They were helping me. In yes. Yes. Yeah. And looking inside, that it's really different from thinking and <laughs> yeah exactly again it's an experience yeah. it's an experience it's not a mental exercise it's not but you know that a technique it's like i don't know two months ago i understood i realized the simplest thing huh? that wha what when he talks everyone talks about the profound mm -hmm. <coughs> it is only the profound of my own consciousness. Yes. No. I realized two months ago. <laughs> okay, I knew it. No, it was, it's different. But at one moment I realized it. No, okay. It's me. It's always me. <laughs> it is all about me. It's all about me. <laughs> I don't have to go. 
somewhere uh, in some strange place uh, when I don't know what will happen. No, it, it is just another level of me. No? Which everyone has. Yeah. But I was um, really astonished because I knew it, but I realized it's it. Different levels of knowledge, right? Yeah. Again, it's when, you, when you have that experience, you remember those experiences, then you, it's like, oh. Ooh. Ah, that is, that, is, that is the profound of my consciousness. It's the profound of my consciousness, okay. Now it's clear. Yeah. A and also it's very less scary because it's all, always me. No, or not, okay, but no, but it's it is what I and it, 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 it's you, yeah, part of the whole, yeah, and that's something. And when you do reading, you know, when you read about the great religious, the great thinkers, the really, really profound thinkers that come in these moments, like Silo came in this moment, they all say the same, yeah, everything's here, mm. everything is here. Everything you need is inside of you. Well, okay, sure. You know, yeah. Uh, why? Yes, I, I can understand it, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> why is it so well hidden? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and why does it go away so it's fast? It's your eye. <laughs> you know, because you, you, that's another conversation. It's like, well, okay, yes, I have this relationship, but then, like, tomorrow, I'm, like, a bitch. Yeah. You know, I'm angry, I'm mean, yeah. I'm nasty. It's yeah. like... What happened? You know, like, where did it go? So then you start, oh, I'm so stupid, I'm so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, again, so s something like uh, Silo said is you have to be kind to yourself, you know, make friends with yourself. And just, it's like, okay, I have the register. I know I have it. And I didn't lose it. It's always there. So I have faith in that. Yes. And I'm human. <laughs> it's part of being human, is to forget. But then yeah. I notice you come back. You move, no? Yes. From inside it's, to it's outside. It's that spiral. It's that spiral. And sometimes you feel like you're on that down spiral, and then, but you're always going up. Always going up. So interesting. Like you had the experience of like. Then you reread the material. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh but <laughs> you've said <laughs> it. Uh, I read it like uh, 20 times. <laughs> oh, but it's new for me. It, it, it is. Mm. Because we've created a new reality. And I could really say that we are creating a new landscape of formation. Mm. I mean, you talk about changing your landscape, your, your religious landscape you know I mean, you've been Kurt has been going to churches and having different experiences and like you know and finding and reading the book and finding your roots his roots in the western religions not the eastern that's not my you know you say that's not your landscape right of formation uh -huh. and so then <clears throat> What's the word? Trans transforming that. Actually changing your registers that you grew up with. And then to be able to absolutely see the world differently now and not have those resentments or rejections of those, all that negativity. To, to be able to transform the same into something that's profound. It's, we, we do that. It's amazing. Even in our relationships, even in, you know, daily. Especially in our relationships. Yeah. Especially. 